Welcome to our lecture online. When you take a look at this example, you're not quite sure what to do with it at first. But again, if in doubt, always try to make it look like this format right here, which means let's multiply everything out and move everything over to one side and see what happens. So if in doubt, just go ahead and follow that technique, which means on the left side, we end up with x squared plus 2x plus 1. And on the right side, we still have the x plus 7. Now let's move everything over to one side. So it ends up with x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x minus 7 equals 0. And then we, when we combine like terms, this gives us x squared um, uh, plus x minus 6 equals 0. And now we can go ahead and factor that. When we do, it should look something like this, the product of two binomials. For the first term, x squared, we need an x and an x. The signs, we have a negative sign here and a positive sign there. That means we need one that's positive, one that's negative. When we multiply, we get negative 6. When we add, we get plus 1, which means that the positive has to be one bigger than the negative. A plus 3 and a minus 2 will do the trick. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Plus 3 minus 2 is a plus 1. So we know we factored it correctly. Now we can then continue by saying that this means since we're multiplying two binomials and the product equals zero, that means that x plus three must equal zero or x minus two must equal zero, which means that x must equal negative three as one solution or x equals two as the other solution. And those are the two solutions to this problem. Again, the best way to do, just to make sure, multiply everything out, move everything to one side, collect common terms, then factor, and then find the solution. And that is how it's done.